Back in the field was Nobility with Zar Hero and Man of Mars, then Mastic, Perak Gold. Go with the flow was second last and a length and a half to accuse last of all. As they move up towards the 600 metre mark in the Nature Vet, Goodwood Handicap and Rain Dance Lady went through on the inside now to take over. Leads from St Clement's Bell and Rancho Spark right behind those accused with Perak Gold which has made ground from El Morada. Nobility off the track. Behind those runners in as we're about to turn was Mastic now getting into the clear, then Man of Mars and further back go with the flow French clock not in the race nor accused but Rain Dance Lady hard up against the inside lead. Perak Gold after it. Strident starting to join in a Mastic right down the outside. Mastic down the outside now moves up to Rain Dance Lady. Strident making ground with Zar Hero. Mastic in front of Zar Hero and Strident. Tony Vassal will win his first group one. Mastic for Aaron Spateri. Mastic wins the Nature Vet Goodwood Handicap. Zar Hero second. Strident third. Behind those Rain Dance Lady. Then go with the flow. El Rada was next from Accuse and a point together. Then Perak Gold, well back Man of Mars with French Clocks and Clemens Bell, Rancho Spark and Nobility. Tony Vassal wins his first Group One. Mastic, number five, Mastic. Number five, Mastic gives Tony Vassal his first Group One success as a trainer. Taking out the Nature Vet Goodwood handicap. Russell Cameron with second and third. Zar Hero to get second. Just in advance of the stablemate Strident. And Rain Dance Lady back on the inside will wind up fourth. But it's glory here. Group one glory for Tony Vassell. He's had a frustrating run of minor placings in group one races over the years. And he's finally cracked it for the ultimate success for anyone in this great game. He's won a group one. He's won the Nature Vet Goodwood Handicap with Mastic, number five. Three is officially second, Zar Hero, and 12 third Strident, five, three, 12. Six was fourth, Rain Dance Lady. 17 was fifth, go with the flow. And Mastic, the winner. Number five, a brown gelding four by Rustic Amber out of Marnit, a Masque mare, owned by Jay Telfer, Jay Cotter, and M Gilbert. Aaron Spateri and Tony Vassell combining to take out the Nature Vet Goodwood Handicap. Three seconds, Zar Hero, a bay gelding six by Clay Hero out of Sequita, a Zarevich mare, Stephen Arnold for Russell Cameron, 12 third Strident, a bay gelding five by Palace Music out of Snow Harbour, a North Jet mare, Jason Holder for Russell Cameron, officially fourth, number six, Rain Dance Lady, Fabian Oleski for David Hall, and... Well... Congratulations all round. Trainer Tony Vassell, young jockey Aaron Spateri, who uh, as recently as last Saturday shed a lot of weight to ride Regal Touch for Gay Waterhouse in the Sydney Cup at 47 and a half kilos. Regal Touch finishing well back in the field. Master. Racing this time, Freeport was last out of the machine, Sunderbank left best, Dealer was away nicely and so too Festive Night, followed by Double Ace and then a break on the outside to Pecan Player, a length the stylish Alquaz, parked over on the inside of Lord Heathcliff and about three lengths centre century and Exalt and three lengths further back Freeport, by golly they're springing out going down towards the thousand and Sunderbank assumes its normal role, making play, it's about two lengths clear on Dealer, three to Festive Night, a length and a half further back is Double Ace and two off, then two Pecan Player. Stylish Alquaz on the inside of Pecan Player than Lord Heathcliff, Centre Century Exalt and three lengths further off is Free Port as they work their way down the side and at the 700 marker the leader is still Sunderbank. Second Posse is occupied by Dealer, travelling third double ace at his girth, the outside first of night. On the fence next in midfield, Stylish Alquaz from Pecan Player Exalt, Lord Heathcliff, Centre Century and Free Port is last back about 10 or 11 lengths from the leader which is Sunderbank and as they come around the corner, Sunderbank is being pushed along in the lead, about a half length on Dealer, going up to it very easily and taking over. Festive night, third double ace is fourth and then Pecan Player, and the others are headed by Stylish Alquaz and Freeport, but Dealer driven to a clear lead by Justin Sheehan looking for the New South Wales Daily Double. Here come the tacklers, Pecan Player and Freeport on the outside. It's Dealer in front, 100 to go. Freeport representing big danger. Freeport runs to Dealer, and Freeport comes away on the line. Freeport 
Port has won it from, I'd say, Pecan Player and Dealer Third. And then came Double A Stylish Alquaz, followed home by Fest of Night Lord, Heathcliff Exalt, and Sunderbank and Centre Century, the last pair. Number one, Free Port to pay 380 and 150. Four peak and player, 270 and two dealer, one dollar eighty. Ian has taken the Australian Rotary Health Research Fund to handicap. Second run back from a spell. He's been a lightly raced horse, and he's got home too well. And the judge will call on number four. I'd say for second, yes, peak and player second, a number two dealer is third. 142, 450, 180 the winner. The second horse, number four, 210, number two in New South Wales. Dealer's dividend is $2. The Quinella, 14.30. Exacta, $30.40. Trifecta, 91.90. And the four and one daily double, $29.90. The winner, namely Freeport, has given uh, Johnny Hawks a winning treble here this afternoon. John uh, trains Progress, Hutt, and of course Freeport. It's a winning treble also to the owners, Jack and Bob Ingham, through the Woodland Stud Syndicate. Rodney Quinns would now won a double. And the winner, Freeport by Bellotto from In the Bahamas, beautifully bred. And having starts 17 for win four, three seconds he's had and four thirds. He's run 131.02, 36.54 the sectional time and the New South Wales Daily Double, repeating the dividend at 29.90. OK, not much more I can add there. He was simply a little too classy for them as we check the totes. That number's 217. And Rod Quinn, a very polished postillion. He just sat back, sat back on Freeport. Made his run at the right time and scored going away on the nice looker at 450 and 180. Number four. Third. Racing, Black Bean began OK up the inside alley. Oh, look at Felvel on go. He came out like a bomb. Straight to the lead. Alpine Express is going with him in the early part. Commands fast away. Toledo began nicely. He's running fourth on the inside. Followed by Kiwi Hero staging Verino. Getting back in the field. Black Bean's back to second last. And dropping to the rear is Aramathia. Mr. Innocence up running fifth but three wide. Felvel in front into the first bend. They've got 750 metres to go. And he sits up on him now. Felvel a neck in front of Alpine Express. Followed by Toledo right on the heels of Falvalon. Commands in the centre. Mr. Innocent a little white. One to Kiwi Hero followed by staging Verino. Black Bean giving them a mild start as they approach the corner and Aramathia is last of all on the bend. 450 metres to go and he's sitting hard against Falvalon. Falvalon joined by Alpine Express followed by Toledo. Falvalon just shifted his ground a little bit. Commands is through to fourth then Mr. Innocent, Verino and Kiwi Hero to the outside. Now he goes for home on Falvalon and he dashed away from them. 150 metres to go. Boy Look at him go. Felvalon, five lengths in front. Up to second, Mr. Innocent, and then Toledo. But Felvalon is a mile too good in the run to the line. Felvalon first by three lengths. Mr. Innocent second, tight third. It's a photo Toledo and staging, charging home. Verino's not far from them. Then Aramathia, a good run. Alpine Express commands Kiwi Hero and Black Bean. Number seven, Falvalon, 250, 130. Number three, Mr. Innocent, 180. Photo for third, one Toledo, 230, or 10 staging, 320. Seven Falvalon, great effort. Uh, Two fifty and one dollar forty. Number three, Mister Innocent, one dollar eighty. Possibly one Toledo third, two dollars ten. And he's eased him up in the run to the line. Falvalon, one of the best sprinters we've seen in Queensland in recent years. Judging him on that performance today, you're looking at the favourite for the Durban Ten Thousand. And if he takes a little bit of improvement out of the Carlton Cup win today... Moving in Newcastle. ...you might very well be looking at the winner of the Doombin 10,000. There was great acceleration there as he headed for home. Danny Begort told us that he'd show us something special today. Well, he has. He's lived right up to Dan's prediction. And Falvalon just bolted away from the opposition at the 200-metre point. He released the brakes. And little Felvy said, OK, I'll show them something. And Falvalon dashed away. And Michael's eased him down in the last 50 metres of the race, and he's won by about three lengths. More from Wayne shortly. Race one, Toowoomba goes at 4.02. One random river, 10 and 3.30. They're off and running. 
came out in a pretty good line too. Uh, fellowship follow goal that began okay down near the inside. Tamaga way running out wide. Cider in pushing forward with Blaze the Turf in the early point and Piavonic is getting back. Angels Jewel back about seventh or eighth. Now Tamag from the outside going up with Cider in to share the lead with Fellowship pushing up on the fence. A length and a half further back, Eula Wonder. Back in the middle, Blaze the Turf. The inside of it follow goal from Singigi Beach. Then hit and run deep around the outside of Piavonic. Angels Jewel has got back with Tumut followed by Summer Rule. Love choice last of all at the 650 metre mark to mark well off the fence led by nearly a length to Hula Wonder and Cider in on the inside fellowship a length and a half blaze the turf they're followed back inside it by fellow goal from Sengigi Beach Summer Rule pulled out wide around Piavonic and further back hit and run Angel Jewel third last back there with it Love's Choice and Tumut when they turn for home right across the track the top weight Hula Wonder hit the front from Tamag at the 350 then fellowship right down the outside Summer Rule from Piavonic Hula Wonder two in front now from Tamag Summer Rule out wide, coming home well, followed by Sengigi Beach. Still Hula Wonder over a length in front. Summer Rule is eating up the ground out wide. Hula Wonder still in front. Summer Rule wearing it down. Hula Wonder just in front. May have won. Hula Wonder from Summer Rule who charged at it. Two away third, Love's Choice from last, and then Tumut Piavonic. To Mark Sengigi Beach from Hit and Run Angels Jewel. Then further back, follow Gold, Blaze the Turf. Fellowship and Cider in back at the tail. Number one, Hula Wonder, 10.73.50. Number nine, Summer Rule, 14.80 and 5.10. And for third, number eight, that was Love's Choice. And that was $4.20. OK, one, Hula Wonder, 8.93.70. Nine, Summer Rule will return 4.90. And number eight, Love's Choice to run third at 4.30. Let's return to Brian. All circling the field from back. And has just missed, has missed about a half head on the post. Numbers are up now. Number one, up to the photo, Hula Wonder. Touch of class for this mare. And she won the race when she quickly got past to Mark in the straight and she went for home. Summer Rule gave her about four or five lengths. Possibly eight, Shakura Gold, 360, a certainty beaten. And number two, Harare Lass, a dollar seventy. Now let's wrap up the divvies at the Canberra Greyhounds. The last, they finished five. Presses the button and there they go. And the last here at Rose Hill Gardens, Desiru from the inside. Jumped out well. Touch of Sun and Bias Bay are not far away. And the same for Grampy and Zan Burdick and Ladd. Wide out on the track is Supremus, then Bridal Kush, followed by Big Milano Hwangi. Is caught out very deep into a couple of lengths to Mendelssohn. And Bally Real close up on the inside of Mendelssohn. And Hold My Hand is back to third last as they swing the first corner. And here Supremus on the outside goes to the lead about a half to three quarters on Touch of Sun. A length away in the third position as they work down the back Burdick and Ladd followed by Grampians and then comes Desiru. Big Milano prattled out pretty wide and Bias Bay is shuffled back a little and caught up between horses as Bridal Kush goes past it and then comes Hwangi and Mendelssohn Hold My Hand is now second last and the New Zealand mare Bally Reel is last. Along the back of the track they go down to the 1,000 marker here and Big Milano's up having a shot for the lead and in fact will take over and out of the back. Big Milano about three quarters of a length on Supremus to length the Burdick and Ladd and one further back is Bridal Kush, Touch of Sun Hwangi. Mendelssohn is moving forward followed closely by Grampians and Bias Bay. Desi Roo is over on the inside and then comes Bally Reel and Hold My Hand as they really pack up along the side of the track and nearing the 600 marker and Supremus punching up on the inside to join Big Milano once again in third position as they come up to and come around the home corner Hwangi followed by Mendelssohn, Touch of Sun and then Burdick and Ladd as they swing, Bridal Kush has gone up into the leading pack of horses too as they set sail for the judge and Supremus the leader, about a length and a half Touch of Sun who's getting into the open stretches from Bridal Kush, Big Milano, Desiru can't get out, Mendelssohn is next followed by Grampians the outside Bias Bay heads the others Grampians are starting to motor down the Center of the track after touch of Sun and Supremus, and this could be four for the Woodland Stud and Johnny Hawks at will. Grampians for the money. Touch of Sun second, hold my hand third. Then Supremus followed home by on the outside, Bally Reel and Company with Bias Bay, Mendelssohn not far back. Desiru, Big Milano, Bridal Kush dropped out of it with Burdick and Ladd, and Wangy was tailed right off. Back to in in a moment, that winner 11, Grampians. 7.72.40, touch of sun, 3.70, 10, hold my hand, 4.30. Touch of sun, number two, 3.50, hold my hand, number 10, was $3.80. Big day for Jack and Bob Ingham, trainer Johnny Hawks, and Grampians by Dane Hill from Balmoral, 
Of course, the uh, Ingham brothers had great success with Belle Morrill, a star shower mare, and mated with Dane Hill. She's produced this promising uh, young cult in Grampians. 11, 2 and 10, with the winner Grampians running 157.86. 157.86 in the sectional was 36.97. It's 11 to 10 with the Quinella here at uh, 49.50 exact and 9.090 dollars 60 and the trifectas paid 1,377 dollars and 80 cents. The fourth, fifth and sixth to come. Yeah, good win by Grampians. Nicely ridden by Lenny Beasley. That's a, um, a winning double for Len. He won the second on Glen Rowan, which was his 50th uh, Metro win for the season. So it's been a happy day for him, but a big one for Jack and Bobbingham, Australia's biggest racing owners, and, of course, accordingly, John Hawkes, Australia's biggest. Be a good way back. Well back, sensational girl. And Red Pete was the last one to pull up. Number six, Keep Rising, 590, 190. Photo the minus three to finger, 290. Or number eight, Cleo's Chariot at $2.40. Correct way. Came out in a good line, Ekalaka, a northern poet, getting back after the start. One of the first out, Brave Chief. From Spirit of Demas in Straits Code, Hidden Keel and Episode Wider out on the track, travelling forward. Around that first turn they go, and it's on the inside, Brave Chief. Hidden Keel and Episode are declaring it on, and they have slapped some speed on. They've moved about four lengths in front of Straits Code. Two and a half, Spirit of Demas. Three further back, then Nazaro, followed by Fasado. Ocean Bird, four wide. The fence, Ekalaka, two further back, Aggie's Heart. Then Northern Poet, followed by Ancient City, and two to Flirty Bird, last of all. Good battle for the front, and it's Brave Chief, and on the outside, episode. Charles went back on Hidden Keel, two lengths away third, two lengths to Straits Code. Three further back in the race in Spirit of Demas from Ekalaka. Inside Nazaro and three deep for Sado. One and a half further back, Northern Poet. And Eck the outside, Aggie's Heart. Two further back then is Ancient City on the inside of Ocean Bird and two to Flirty Bird. Well, they've really rolled along in front. They've gone over the top of the hill, coming down the side of the thousand metre mark. Episode stride to steady in front. She's two and a half to Brave Chief. A length and a half, Hidden Keel. A length further back, Straits Code. Two to Spirit of Demas followed by Fasado. Ekalaka stayed to the fence. Back in the middle, Nazaro and then Northern Poet. Then Aggie's Heart. Two lengths further back. Ancient City around the outside of it. Flirty Bird and two to Ocean Bird. 6.50 out. Episode by two and a half. Straits Code up to second. Brave Chief under pressure third. Two to Spirit of Demas. They're followed by Fasado. Further back, Aggie's Heart around Nazaro. Ekalaka staying back to the inside and further back in the race. Then Ancient City and a long gap to Ocean Bird and dropping right out of it now is Hidden Keel. Something's gone amiss with it. Straits Code got up to episode on the turn from Brave Chief. They left the fence. Ekalaka back to the inside and Fasado wider out with Aggie's Heart. Ancient City looking for a run. Fasado out deep has hit the front and move clear now from Flirty Bird. Aggie's Heart and Ancient City getting a run through. It's Fasado out deep. Ancient City and Aggie's Heart after it. Fasado Ancient City finishing off well. Wider out is Aggie's Heart. Ancient City going home better and Ancient City backs up from last Sunday. Ancient City wins three quarters. Aggie's Heart. Close for third for Sado or on the outside Flirty Bird a long gap then to Brave Chief Spirit of Demas further back Ekalaka he stayed on the fence the wrong place to be then Ocean Bird from Northern Poet Straits Code Nazaro a long gap to episode and a poor run Hidden Keel last of all number one Ancient City 610 and 230 number five Aggie's Heart to pay $2.30 for third six for Sato at 270 or number eight Flirty Bird at $2.70 one Ancient City 710 230 on the super tab Five Aggies Heart 250. Now for third, six for Sato at 270, or number eight, Flirty Bird at 260. I don't know what wrong, went wrong with Hidden Keel there, number nine. Up there running third, went straight.